Okay, a spotlight is set on the ground, shining on a wall. This is not all that different from the famous street lamp problem, except for the positions, but it's still going to be a similar triangles thing, and the solution's not going to be all that different, I don't think. So, here is a spotlight. It's shining on a wall over here. The distance from light to wall is 20 meters. And then we put a person walking away from the light toward the wall at 1.4 meters per second. So, here she is. And as she walks, there's going to be light that goes over and just barely clears her head and illuminates this part of the wall. But down here, underneath, is going to be the shadow that she casts. It turns out if you're very close to a light, then the only beams that get over your head go way up high and hit very high on the wall. So when you're standing next to this light, you cast a very big shadow. As you walk closer to the wall, your shadow shrinks and shrinks and shrinks. At this point, her shadow is only a little bigger than she is. And if you walk up and actually put your nose on the wall, then your shadow is right in front of you, and it's pretty much exactly the same size as you. So your shadow starts out enormous and shrinks as you grow closer to the wall. They say she's walking 1.4 meters per second, so I'm going to call the distance X up to her feet, right there. Her height is 1.7, and that's fixed. Walking doesn't change your height. And so here, let's change colors a little bit. There's a triangle defined by the top of her head. There's a small triangle that goes to the top of her head and just goes around her. There's a big triangle that skims over the top of her head and goes to the top of her shadow's head. And that's going to be our big triangle. And those two triangles together are going to be our similar ones. Her height is 1.7. Her shadow's height I'm going to call S. And so if we do a setup for the small triangle and the big one, for the small one, if I do base to height, let's say, I'm going to get x is to 1.7. That's base to height equals, and for the big triangle, base to height is 20 to s. Fair enough. So x is to 1.7, x is to 1.7 as 20 is to s. If we, I'm debating cross-multiplying this, do I want to? Not especially. If I cross-multiply this, then I'm going to get xs, and then I'll have to use the product rule when I do my derivative, and I'll avoid that if I possibly can. So instead, I'm going to do this as x over 1.7 equals 20s to the minus 1. I'm keeping it in this form because I think the derivative will hurt less if I do it this way. So there's a formula, and... We want a rate. They're saying, at what rate is the shadow decreasing? So we want dsdt. We want how fast is the shadow size changing? So if we differentiate both sides of this, here we get 1 times 1 over 1.7x to the 0. So we get 1 over 1.7dx. dx gets blown away because it was just a first degree. And on this side, we get minus 20s to the minus 2 ds. Divide both sides by dt. And there we go. That's not a real nice expression, but we should be able to work with it. Let's see how much, we, how much of this we can fill in. We have 1 over 1.7. dx dt is how fast the horizontal distance is changing. They tell us that's 1.4, and it's positive because she's walking further and further away from the light. That distance is getting bigger. So positive 1.4 there equals minus 20. S to the minus 2 is the same as dividing by S squared. So I'm just going to put squared down there. And we need a value for S. And we don't have one. So you notice how this side calculation thing seems to happen every single time? That's not too unusual. We need to find a value for S here. And we can get one because they've told us what X is. 
They told us x is 14 meters, so we can go over here and say x is 14, that's over 1.7, equals 20 over, don't know, s. If you cross multiply that, you do 20 times 1.7 divided by 14, and that comes out to 34 divided by 14. 2.43 is what I get for the shadow height right now. So she's a 1.7 meter person. Her shadow is only 2.4 meters. It's bigger than her, but not by a huge amount. That's our S value. And here's DSDT, the thing we're trying to solve for. So if we want DSDT, uh, this one isn't so nice to do in one step, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take one more line and get this right here. 1 divided by 1.7 times 1.4 on the left side, I get 0 0.824. That's our left side. Equals, on the right side, we get negative 20 divided by 2.43. Don't forget to square it. So for this whole thing, minus 20 over 2.43 squared, I get minus 3.39. And then we have DSDT. So, the SDT ought to be 0.824 divided by negative 3.39, which comes out to negative 0 0.24. And what are our units? It's S is shadow height units, T is time units, so it should be meters per second. And it makes sense that this is negative because we said as you get closer and closer to the wall, your shadow gets smaller and smaller until if you're mashed right into the wall your shadow is the same height that you are.